What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we finally got our first step in the quest to getting the sleeper simulant. So today upon the reset we got access to a new quest in our directory and it's located on earth and it's called the first firewall. So I believe in order to be able to access this mission you need to have turned in the four fusion rifle relics to the gunsmith that are found randomly in PvE by just killing enemies. So if you haven't found all those fusion rifle relics in PvE and turned them into the gunsmith, I recommend just killing a bunch of enemies and just doing a bunch of activities and you'll eventually stumble upon them in order to unlock the quests. Going into the quest, you land in the Forgotten Shore and you pretty much follow your footsteps from the Siege of the Warmind mission from the Dark Below. Eventually, going into the Warmind, you end up in the same room that you fought Omnigo in and instead you fight some Taken Knights as well as some Hive Knights. Eventually, toward the end of the quest, you end up fighting an Ultra Knight and once defeating him, you will be rewarded a Curious Transceiver. Once you have the Curious Transceiver, you need to input four different passcodes in order to unlock the next quest. I will have the four different passcodes on the screen. If you need to pause the video, you can go ahead and do so. In order for you to know that you inputted the correct code, another square will drop down underneath the boxes in order for you to enter the code. Once you enter four different codes, you will then unlock the next quest which is called Shadow Call. This Shadow Call quest is a single player quest which requires you to reach the top of the Devil's Spire in 4 minutes. This is pretty much the same as the Cade Stash mission except you start at the bottom of Devil's Spire. Once you run past all the enemies and reach the top of the Devil's Spire you will have to kill a few wizards and you will then be rewarded with the Echolos Fusion Core. Once you receive the Echolos Fusion Core, if you take a look at it, it will require 5 modules to be repaired. Each module has a specific task linked to it in order for you to repair that part. Starting off at the top left, you will need the Ionized Shell Harmonics. In order to acquire this, you will need to complete the Archive Story mission on Venus on any difficulty. Once you complete this, you will be rewarded with the Ionized Shell Harmonics and you can then repair that piece of the Fusion Core. Going into the top right module, you will need a heavy power coupling. In order to acquire this, you will need to dismantle any legendary or higher heavy weapon. At first it said any heavy weapon, so I thought a rare one would count. However, you do need a legendary or higher heavy weapon in order to acquire the heavy power coupling. If you're like me and you didn't have any spare heavy weapons that were a legendary rarity or higher that you wanted to dismantle, you can go ahead and go to the reef and visit Varix because he's actually selling a Chain of Orbic spell, the Prison of Elders heavy machine gun this week. And so if you're like me and you had an, an extra amount of weapon cores from the House of Wolves days, you can go ahead and turn one in to Varix acquire the Chain of Orbic Spell and then dismantle it for your heavy power coupling for your Echolos Fusion Core like I did. Once you complete those top two, the last three nodes in your Fusion Core basically relate to War Sats. So for the middle one and the bottom two modules of your Fusion Core, you will need to complete a Defend the War Sat public event on three specific planets, so one on each. So for the middle one, you need to do one on Earth, for the bottom left, you need to do one on Moon, and for the bottom right, you need to do one on Mars. So you need to complete Defend the Warsat three different times on each of those planets. Once you complete all of that, you will have all five pieces to repair your Echolos Fusion Core. And once you lock them into each five of the pieces or modules, you will receive the reassembled Echolos Fusion Core. Once you receive the reassembled Echolos Fusion Core, you must take it to the tower and bring it to the gunsmith and turn it into him 
and once you turn it into him, the quest pretty much goes dry right there. And we don't know what's going to happen next. Hopefully, it happens within the next week or two. And we'll see a continuation of this quest. Because obviously, this is the quest leading to the Sleeper Simulant. And it's pretty exciting that we finally got our first steps into this quest. This long-awaited weapon that everyone's been trying to find and learn about for the past few weeks. Since the Taken King came out, we finally got some light shed on the new weapon the new exotic heavy weapon that everyone wants to get their hands on. So hopefully we see some results from the gunsmith and he'll call us back later to continue this pretty interesting quest line. And we'll see where it heads from there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Good luck on your sleeper simulant step one in the quest chain. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!